His voice permeated the local airwaves for nearly 60 years, a virtually unheard of feat in local radio. And tonight, people are sharing stories that will ensure talk show host Hank Brown's memory lives forever. Brown passed away on Monday in Vermont. News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris spoke with his family and co-workers. When you meet a legend, you remember. And I was at this charity event, one of those kind of like celebrity charity events, and Hank was the host. I had no idea who he was, but he took me under his wing and he helped me. Five years later, Dave Silvers would end up working with local broadcasting legend Hank Brown. I think he just, he just loved what he did and he just hit the ground running. He didn't need a script. We used to record things and he would just walk in and he would record when he was going to be on vacation. I think, Hank, you got anything written down? No, I don't need that. And he would just walk up and hit the ground running and I was amazed. Legendary local radio host Hank Brown died Monday in Vermont, surrounded by the love of his family, following a harrowing battle with Alzheimer's and dementia. Brown spent nearly six decades on the mic and in people's homes. And it was Hank in the morning, your host for coffee and toast, as he used to say. Local DJ Genesee Joe didn't just know Hank Brown professionally. Uh, he would come into my parents' bridal shop downtown because he would sell them ads and stuff. And he was friends with my dad because they were both, you know, in with the local entertainment scene. So I always knew Hank. He was an old school radio guy who, for a long time, even would go out after the show and sell his own show. Those who shared the mic with Hank Brown say he didn't have a persona. Hank was 100% the same exact guy walking down the hall as he was on the air. He was a joker. He was a friendly guy. He, he was the epitome of a people person. Like Hank just was engaging and he was a warm guy too. He always made you feel like really, you know, at home. To most, he was a broadcasting legend, but to some, he was a legendary grandfather. People don't say it enough, but I love you. You're my audience. He did so many things for us. He, um, I remember when we were little at his house over on Burt Road in Little Falls, he had a tree in the front yard and he would put Tootsie Rolls in the tree and he would say it was his Tootsie Roll tree. We would go out and we would pick them. He would say that they grow on there. Granddaughter Tegan is taking the mic from here, just starting out as a news reporter. Her family held up in their grief by a loving community. When we put out that uh, he had passed away yesterday, there were hundreds and hundreds of comments and shares of people sharing memories of him being their baseball coach and, you know, somebody who showed him, showed them, you know, his radio station, his TV station. He was the best grandpa. Jolene Ferris reporting.